Okay, welcome everyone. This is the Taurus season. Let's see what's coming out in the season for you guys. Uh, this is the latest, the reading for the Aquarian Sun Moon Horizon sign for the Taurus season. All right, let's see um, what is coming out for the Taurus season for the Aquarians, Aquarian Sun Moon Horizon sign, Universal Angels and Guides. Show the Aquarians what is coming out in this season. Um, this four weeks of the Taurus season. So we see work. Um, we see no success. Um, we see no success for Aries, we are Sagittarian person. They now recognize what this person uh, could have done. Whoever this Aries, we are Sagittarian person is no success for this person. Um, I see a lot of you Aquarians are standing your ground against this person whoever this person is and whatever that was transpiring you are standing your ground so i see um, um a lot of you could have been expecting money i see um whoever this person is was expecting um money maybe from you i see a lot of emotions for this person this person is a leo person um whoever this person is could have been creating a lot of chaos for other people I see this person is in some sort of a financial problem. Um, so um, some of you could be dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian person. Whoever this person is, there is no success for, for this person with their work, their business, their um, investment or whatever that they're dealing with. And um, I see a lot of you are going to be contented with this person. I see um, a lot of money is going to be returned um, to a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. Um, I see that uh, they could have, uh, um, th th there is a, a Virgo person that some of you are going to be um, basically dealing with. Whoever this Vir Virgo person is, is financially um, not in order. And uh, there is some sort of a shift of energy where an ending is coming up for a Virgo person. There is no happiness and joy. So a lot of you could be dealing with uh, these circumstances and issues surrounding work, surrounding people, surrounding um, working together, um, um, creating. And, uh, you know, there is a lot of laughter um, that is here and is coming up. And if you notice, um, there is no happiness because it's as if uh, um, this Virgo person and this Leo person, Aries Leo or Sagittarian or this uh, um, um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person, whoever this person is, this person is coming up uh, as a Taurus or a Virgo person. So a lot of you are going to be dealing with Aries Leo or Sagittarian. Um, some of you are going to be dealing with Leo people um, and uh, a, um, a Taurus or a Virgo person. And whatever is going on here, there is no new start for the Taurus or Virgo person because um, whatever that has been transpiring, there has been some sort of an issue. And the situation is humored and the situation is humored because whatever that was going on and whoever this person is and whatever that was transpiring, um, people are now recognizing and gaining a, a huge um, uh, understanding of a really delicate situation that was transpiring and that was going on um, because uh, um, they are now recognizing um, a situation and this is, uh, is affecting a lot of you um, Aquarians that is dealing with people at work or people in business or people um, it could be a mother oak that is a Virgo, but this person is a Virgo person. There is a lot of you Aquarians dealing with a Virgo person. And as you recognize in the first week of the story season, um, we are looking at a situation with work. And this person is uh, actually out of work or is looking for work, but this person is recognizing there is a, um, no new start. This person wants to create some sort of a new start for themselves. But there's absolutely no new start. When you look in the second week, no success with a situation. It's as if some of you were waiting on money to be paid out. Or this Virgo person was hoping to, to get some money. But it is a situation where um, this Virgo person, whoever this Virgo person is, it is a situation that is humored on this person. Okay, it, it is coming up mostly as a Virgo. It can be a Taurus. It could be you Tauruses. Or it can be... A, a Taurus person that you Aquarians were dealing with, uh, 
And it could be also that you Aquarian women, business women could be coming in some sort of a financial problem where you're waiting for some money or you're hoping for some money um, to come in. So there are different ways, different issues that could be coming up and could be transfer uh, transferring for a lot of you. So when we look at the situation, obviously, um, some of you Aquarians is going to be recognizing that there is no success for a Leo woman. A lot of you Aquarian could have been dealing with a Leo woman, whether this Leo woman is her business or her project or um, whatever she's doing is not a success. And it is coming out. In the third week, we can expect that no success for a Virgo person. Whoever this Virgo person is, was hoping to um, receive a whole lot of money or um, yeah, was hoping to receive a whole lot of money from you Aquarians and it's not going to be working out because whatever this Virgo person has done, it's humored, humored um, this person because this person had um, created or play or created some sort of a play. And um, whatever the situation is, um, this play is like it's humors upon this person because this person could have created a situation where you Virgos, uh, this you Aquarians was dealing with this person. You Aquarians could have been helping this person and recognize that this person has created a whole illusion around themselves and has fallen in their own trap that they have created. Okay, so here we can see that service, I feel good when I can help people, is that whoever this Leo person is of this Aries Leo or Sagittarian person is definitely a Leo person because you can see the energies around this person and it's definitely coming up as a Leo person that a lot of you Aquarians are going to be. Um, this could have been someone you went to for services. This uh, could have been someone you used to go to services and you're going to be stop going to this person because you're going to be recognizing that this person is a drama and create a lot of drama. And because of that, you have, uh, you are, if you're not already stop, you are going to be stopping because you're going to be recognizing that this person creates drama um, wherever they are and wherever they go. And this Leah person is obviously um, um, upset a situation where um, you're now recognizing that this Virgo person or this Leah person is not really... Um, for some of you is a Virgo, for some of you is a Leo, it's not really. So there is no happiness because this person is creating a lot of drama because they themselves are not happy. Whoever this Leo person is emotionally, um, they are emotionally um, out of balance. So a lot of you Aquarians, if you're dealing with Leos, um, this person is very emotional out of balance. So if you were in a relationship with this person, um, this person is in a whole lot of financial um, problems and this person is creating drama for the rest of uh, this uh, for for the rest of you Aquarians. So for some of you Aquarians, this could have been someone you were um, in service with, in business with. For some of you Aquarians, it could be someone who you went to get service from and recognizing that this person is uh, uh, someone who has created a whole lot of drama. They're going to be finding out how much money um, this person has owed out. Uh, to other people, they're going to be finding out that this person could have sold some of you Aquarians out because some of you Aquarians are going to be getting some sort of information coming to the end of uh, the um, Sagittarian season. Um, some of you um, Aquarians is going to be getting some sort of information about this Leo person. I recognize that this Leo person not only bring you in a lot of financial problems, but this Leo person also let you lose a whole lot of money. For some of you as an Aries Leo or Sagittarian, um, it is coming up as a Sagittarian or a Leo person for a lot of you is a Sagittarian or a Leo person. OK, I see that a lot of you are going to be emotionally um, in balance because of financial crisis that is going to be coming up. And it is because of the cause of uh, some of you who are dealing with a Sagittarian, some of you who are dealing with a Leo, some of you who are dealing with a Virgo. OK, a Virgo or a U Tauruses could be coming in this financial problem, too, because of someone else. Uh, um, given you an um, Aquarius, I should advise you not to do it is a Taurus season and basically you will vibrate with the same energy as Taurus so it's going to be a lucky season for you Aquarians but a transition um, is going to be coming up and there is going to be endings um, there is there is just emotional 
endings between some of you that is getting divorced, some of you who are really seeing the humor of a situation um, because of something that someone has created that affected your life. So it is about services for some of you and it's about humor for some of you and the services is that some of you are going to be ending services or ending some sort of a services that has to do with a Sagittarian and a Leo person because you're going to be recognizing that the Sagittarian or this Leo person had dragged you, had gotten you in some sort of a um, problematic situation that has paid out not good for these people and you yourself is going to be removing yourself from this situation because you're going to be recognizing that this group of people have only cost you um, more, um, it cost you a huge financial burden than ever. So no, um, a lot of you Aquarian is going to be having a big win over a Virgo person, a big win over a Leo person. A lot of you Aquarians is going to be recognizing that a Leo person is, uh, um, um, is chaos and is toxic. A lot of you are going to be recognizing that a Leo person had some sort of a contact with a Virgo person and created a whole lot of chaos and a whole lot of problems for you. You're going to be recognizing that uh, um, is is as if whatever they have created is uh, turning out into a huge, huge drama um, and no happiness. No happiness is going to be coming up because what is transpiring is that uh, this Leo person and this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person, um, it is basically coming up as a Taurus or a Virgo person. Um, that was creating a whole lot of uh, issues surrounding you Aquarians. These two people had collaborated to take you down and now they are emotionally imbalanced because financially they're not doing well. So it is for some of you a Leo and a Sagittarius. For some of you is a Virgo and a Taurus. So Taurus women, you got to be um, looking out because there is going to be some sort of a problem if you uh, um, a lot of you Aquarians could be having some sort of a problem with a Taurus person because a Taurus person might not be able to repay you a whole lot of money. And it is a humor, humor situation for a lot of you Aquarians. And the situation is very humored. And why the situation is so humored? The situation is humored because a lot of people have been basically working against a lot of you Aquarians. And it is a situation where um, Aquarians, Capricorns, and Virgos have um, special spirit guides, okay? Um, you Aquarians, you have special spirit guides where a lot of you Aquarian are protected, um, especially if you were born under the sign of Aquarian, you're protected with uh, a lot of spirit because they're now... Um, getting to the bottom of a situation, if you notice Aquarian, you are now recognizing because this last uh, section where you can see this Virgo person is financially on the ground and you are being humored by it because this person could have pulled the rug under your foot and uh, choose to create problems and issue for you. And this humor is that you're now recognizing that uh, Whatever this person had created for you Aquarians, they themselves has fall in the same trap that they have set for you. So Aquarians, it is going to be a very, very wonderful Taurus season. And a lot of you Aquarians, these four weeks from the 20th of April until 21st of May, enjoy the season. Anything that you want to do because Taurus is, is vibrating the story sees it vibrates in your frequency of a six, a seven, and a, um, a five, six, and seven. You will get a lot of uh, assistance in this timeline. So, Aquarians, I will advise you go for it. Use these four weeks because the frequency of these four weeks is vibrating in your frequency as an Aquarian person, and you are going to be. Um, really, really breaking out and really making a lot of changes in your life because you're going to be finding out and seeing how to recognize um, and to make the right decision. This is a timeline to make the right decision. A lot of you Aquarian, if a, a, a Taurus person has money for you, 
um, this money might not be returned because the Taurus person is also in a whole lot of financial problems. Whoever the Taurus person is and whatever that was going on, the Taurus person is also in financial problems. Aquarians, it is going to be a wonderful season because you're going to be successfully um, getting over and uh, recognizing that uh, people who have uh, placed uh, blockages in your way, people who have created uh, illusion for you, they are all falling in their traps that they have set. You are going to be recognizing a lot of you Aquarians because uh, um, Aquarians is uh, connected uh, with uh, um, the uh, Leos and you're going to be recognizing that whoever this Leo person is, uh, um, you know, they're unhappy. So they want to make everyone else unhappy. Money wise, this is a season where make financial decision um, um, for the future. Um, these four weeks um, transition because I see Mercury in Aquarian. I see as um, they're going to be now recognizing um, that a Virgo woman or a Taurus woman cannot afford something and you Aquarian might be the one who is after picking this up. So be aware. Aquarians, there's going to be the extended of this reading. Follow us to the other side. I'm saying namaste until next time.